Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702-595-0488. Basically hated myself when I was a homeless heroin junkie out in Vegas. I slept behind dumpsters. I slept by a mortuary in the bushes because that was a safe space because nobody was going to mess with me by the dead people. Um, I, the last place I lived in right before I moved out here uh, was an abandoned Kmart over on Lake Pecos and Eastern. And uh, I remember being super cold and uh, the only heat I had was, the, I guess the gas was still on and uh, I did not care about anything else except my next day. The stories that they, that they told, I think that it, this gave this gave the public an opportunity to hear really the kind of raw, real stories of addiction and then of recovery. And um, and I was right. <laughs> there were some tears, yeah. uh, tears of joy, and families just very, very proud of of their family members and also relieved, right? Because so many people are dying of overdoses that. Um, that that's a constant worry now. It doesn't matter what drug you're doing, you don't know what's in it, but we know fentanyl's everywhere. Yeah. So um, so that hope for them to get well and stay well, I think was evident in what people were sharing tonight. I can't do this, I'm trying to change, you know? So I just gave them my spots and I said, I don't want it no more. You know, and then uh, nine days went by and I started withdrawing off the of Suboxone. That's the worst withdrawal I've ever been through in my life. And I've done a lot of heroin and meth, you know what I mean? And uh, if it wasn't for the house and the people that live in there and the brotherhood, I would have left and relapsed. And I would be still on the streets right now. But they kept me there. They supported me. Uh, basically kidnapped me, but whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> they saved me when you leave it. And I, so I stayed in the house. I went through that. And uh, man, this program, uh, Living Free, has saved my life. Drug court knew about me and they had to set up for me. And I was told that I was going to Living Free. And I was like, okay, cool, sober living, I don't even know what that is. I had no idea what any of this stuff was. I just knew rehab was for drug addicts and, you know, jail was for criminals. I had no idea what any of it meant. Um, I was really confused. I was really lost. I was only 20 years old. Um, and I was like three, I'm 300 and something miles away from where I'm from and my family, so I was all by myself. This is something you want to do with the community. So we were fortunate this year to have art that my mom had donated, as we you know kind of discussed before. And next year we have um, we'll be having art from other people um, in that show that we do, or I should call it a fundraiser. I think we had about 26 pieces. We had some other ones too that were up for sale. I don't have the exact total, but I'm pretty sure we sold at least 20, probably 22 of maybe 30. So at our website, livingfreehealth.org, we have links to the cafe, links to the cafe menu, links on treatment, background on our treatment providers, our, you know, our clinicians, and we have a nice donate button right up there at the top of the page <laughs> where you can either use your PayPal account or use your credit card or debit card, and most people use their debit card or credit card. And if you wanted to mail us a check, you could do that as well. Just feel free to call the office at 775-505-1625. Or you can email Shelly, S-H-E-L-L-E-Y, at livingfreehealth.org.